everyone, and welcome. We are so excited to be here today with Laura Basson, one of our amazing <laughs> secret garden instructors coming up in May. Welcome, Laura. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. We're so excited to have you be a part of this. It's always, you bring the rainbow, you bring the fun, you bring the color. I mean, that's just, it's not a party without Laura. I mean, it right? <laughs> I wish my kids felt that way. <laughs> They will someday, I think. My, <laughs> mine, mine's almost 30. I think he's starting to feel that way now. I'm I'm not the annoying mom. and he, I'm not the stalkerazzi, as he used to call me. I, <laughs> I've moved on. So. <laughs> but it's great to have you back. You've been with us before for a retreat. So how, how exciting is it to come back and do another one with us? I'm very honored and excited to be back. I love Altenew. I love their products. I love Jen and Tasneem. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since my last class. And like, I can't remember what happened yesterday. So it feels like all new again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of our name. What's oldest yeah. new? So there we go. Right, old and new. <laughs> I'm the old one and this is the new class. <laughs> we can tie it all in together. So for folks that, you know, um, have been hiding in a closet, um, for some reason, uh, that don't know. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Well, my name's Laura Basson, but you might know me as Laura Fedora, which was a childhood nickname. My family started calling me Laura Fedora and then it just stuck. And when I, years later, when I started my blog, I don't know, it just popped up and I thought it was catchy. So, uh, but yeah, I grew up in central Illinois. I'm a wife. I have five kids. They're all getting older now. The youngest is 13 and the oldest is 24. And uh, I studied graphic design in college. And then I thought I was going to work in graphic design. And somewhere down the line, I went to a Stampin' Up! party. And the rest is history. I was hooked. I was hooked immediately. So it was like I was craving that creative outlet and card making just like, and I've never looked back. So. I, I think I think most of us are either Stampin' Up or Jennifer McGuire or a combination of both. Like yep. I think that's our our inlet into crafting. Like we can trace our our past back there. We all true. come from the same the same beginnings, basically. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and it's good to see everybody. Everybody's saying good morning. Hello, everyone. If you have some questions for Laura, pop them into the chat. Uh, if you don't know what the secret garden is, it is a retreat on May 4th. It is 12 hours long with six amazing instructors. They each teach about a 90 minute class. We have half an hour breaks with fun activities in between. And it's just fun. Um, you get to keep the recordings forever. They're uploaded. We try to get them uploaded on that Sunday. We work really hard to do that for you. Um, and you get PDFs. There's a Facebook group that's so much fun. Lots of giveaways. Just it's basically a 12 hour alt new crafty party. It's just uh, what what do you think makes these retreats unique for someone that's never been before? Well, I've done quite a few classes with different companies, and I think this is a really amazing bundle of products. Like it's a lot of stuff and it all kind of, you can use different things in different ways. Like you're not gonna make, every card's not gonna look the same because there's so many different kinds of product like embossing folders and, and sentiment dyes and stencils and floral dyes. And so you can really get a lot of different things. You just get a lot in this bundle. So I think that's what makes it stand out to me. And it's great too, because a lot of the stuff is you mix and match. Like it, you can either keep this kit together and you can use it for so long because there's so much in the kit that goes well together. They've, they've worked hard. Our designers have worked so hard to make sure it's like the perfect kit each time. But you can also bring in your old favorites and mix them in with the new sentiments or the new flower dyes or something like that. There's lots of options that you can do. What would you say to somebody if they've never done one of these retreats and they just, they're, they're on the fence trying to decide whether or not to do this. What would you say they should do this for? Oh, well, if you're not, because there's a lot of classes out there and it can be overwhelming. Which one do I choose? Well, first of all, this is an amazing bundle. And second of all, some really good instructors. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to learn a lot, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of really cool techniques that you probably wouldn't have seen. And, um, I don't know. Do you get like six? Is there like six inks in this? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is an ink color 
in this class that kind of like really surprised me how amazing it is. And I've never seen this color anywhere else. And I'm like, okay, this might just be what would push me over the edge to sign up <laughs> for the class, this particular ink color. Which one was it? The, it's a, what's it called? Honeydew. Oh, that one. Yes. Oh, what's that it called? Is the honeydew glow. I honeydew believe. Honeydew glow. Yeah. I, I have that's, never yeah. seen that color anywhere else. And at first I'm like, what am I going to do with this color? When I started like working on my project, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this color. But then when I saw it and, and then when you blend it with other colors, oh my gosh, it's like the magic ink color. That it's right so there is the price of the class. <laughs> Just the color. I don't know. It's, it's, it's so really, funny. It's a really good color. It's so fun to see that magic. Like you talked about like the ink blending. You're like, oh, it's a really pretty color. And then you put it with another one and you're like, oh my gosh, no, this is it. Like this is, I'm done. I'm sold. This is it. This is the exactly. color. Exactly. That with the honeydew glow with that, is it blue horizon? Yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> forget about and, it. I love Laura Fedora saying, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> so good. Really, really good colors. <laughs> yeah. So great ink colors, great products, great instructors. It'll be a lot of fun. And I think that's great too. Like you mentioned, you know, you do get to craft with Jennifer McGuire, Laura Basson, JC Gass, Dawn, it goes on and you get all these instructors and you get to see their process. So let's say, for example, I always use this example, but let's say Laura accidentally drops an ink pad on her project but she's going to show you how to fix it. Like you're going to see her process and how she fixes things or how she does things. And invariably there's always the crafty gnomes on the scene helping, you know, either drop an ink pad or, you know, a die cut doesn't cut just right or something. They love to come help um, so that we can be pushed and figure out how to fix it. But that's, I think the great thing is we see the process that you guys have. And it's almost like, basically having a private craft session with you, which I think is phenomenal because um, we see the beautiful cards, but we don't get to see like the behind the scenes and what goes into it and kind of your thought process. But this is where you get to do that. You get yep. to be involved in that. And I think that's amazing. And I also, I just thought of this. Um, sorry, you might hear people coming in and out. I don't know. It's like, you know what? It's spring break and it's whatever. <laughs> but um, I notice all the instructors have a really unique kind of, strength that's kind of well known and so you're going to get a real different type of teaching because they all have like kelly is an amazing colorist yeah that's her thing and like don i don't know if she's doing watercolor or painting or anything but she is incredible and jennifer is just an engineer she's probably going to make some type of pop fold <laughs> card you know i don't know how she comes up with it and then jc he's like he's like a scientist of card making. Yes. And who else? Am I? Oh, Carissa. Yes. Clean, simple, gold. I know she's using gold. Shiny. Shiny. And she <laughs> loves to teach. I saw that in her life. She said, I love to teach. I love to teach. I can't say that I love to teach. I don't feel like I'm that great of a teacher, but she loves to teach. So that would probably be her thing. <laughs> I, I always think Carissa Glitter, Carissa Glitter. Yeah. yeah. And JC, yeah, he is the mad card making scientist. I always, yes. it's just, it's his to watch him process. And yes, Jennifer McGuire, the amazing cards that she pops out. I, I'm like, wow, that just every time, like yeah. just dumbfounded. Wow. I know. I haven't seen what they've all created with this no. kit, but I personally want to see what they've all created with this kit. I know. And that's the exciting bit. And that's, I think the fun thing is that you have these six artists and like Laura said, everybody's kind of different. They've got different strengths, different backgrounds, different things they bring in, but they're using this one kit. So it's showing you how even having a few supplies, because of course we all want all the things, but we all can't have all the things. So it's great in this because you can take the techniques and you can apply it to a kit. Maybe you build yourself. Maybe you pull in a craft of flower. Maybe you pull in a stamp set and a stencil and you put those together, but you can take the techniques that Laura teaches you and you can apply those to your forward crafting as well. And I think it's great for beginners to see 
your process? Because we all have that on Instagram. Oh, I'm never going to be as good as so-and-so. I'm never going to be that good. I'm never going to be that good. But I think this kind of takes that away a little bit because when you're crafting together, you're all there. You're all, you're all doing it together. Like it's a joint feeling. You're not comparing yourself. You're just, you know, enjoying the process. And I think that's great. It is fun to take a class too, because well, with what I do, I'm always trying to come up with ideas and I think it'd be fun to be a participant, let them do all the thinking. And then you just have fun and craft along. You don't have to worry about composition and color. They've already thought all of that for you. You yes. just get to enjoy the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's great, too, that you get to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. So maybe you've watched videos with Laura and there's something she does, um, how she's combining her cards. And you're like, I don't I don't know how she does that. Why does she do this? Why does she place things in this certain arrangement? Um, you know, so let's ask the question. I mean, I am team rainbow a thousand percent. Why? Why team rainbow? Why do we love rainbows so much? I don't really even know. I don't know. Cause when you said she can tell you why she does, I'm thinking, I don't know why I do what I do. I don't know why I do what I do. Um, I, I just gravitate towards it. I'm not sure I always have. I Every time I use a color, I think it looks better with the sister's side on the spectrum. And, and then when I start adding the rest, it just makes me feel better. I feel like the card looks better. I'm happier about it. And so most of the time I end up adding every color. Cause it just seems to fit right in the gut. Yeah. I don't and know. And if your, if your eyes, oh, and we have a visitor. We have a furry hey, visitor. Come say, oh, hey. come say hi. Don't come say hi. I think he, yeah. that we said hi last time. So it's like a tradition now we have to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. And I think that's the hard too about your process and teaching your process is sometimes there is no process. Yeah. You basically just start. You make it and you just make a different selection. It's like those choose an adventure books when we were kids where you just kind of selected each step, something, and it comes together. And so it's hard sometimes because there really isn't a process in the process. I bet JC probably could explain process better than me. I'm just like a yeah. wing in a prayer, just like a redneck eyeball it, just like yeah. go, go <laughs> with it. I don't have a real reasoning, but... I think I am working those, you know, because I study graphic design. So I have all those core design elements working in the yeah. back of my brain, but I don't think about all those things like color, composition, movement, white space, all those things I am thinking. I'm not thinking, but they're like, they're working back there. It's almost like it's second nature. Like it's yeah. just something in the back of your head that your eye is like, no, yeah, <laughs> like, no, exactly. So you're just like, if, if my eye, and that's what I tell people, especially beginners, if they're not happy with their work, I'm like, do it until your eye likes it. Exactly. So that's it. If your eye likes it, because your eye is a picky little beast. Yeah. Like they want things in, in odd numbers. They want things in triangles. They want things this way, that way. So if your eye likes it, like you're good. Stop. <laughs> I know it's true. People ask me all the time. I get messages. I've had people ask if I would start a new Instagram account just for color and teach people how I choose color. And I'm like, I can't teach that. It's, I rifle through my scraps and I put some together and if it doesn't look right, I change it. And there's like no magic really to it. It's just trial and error yep. until it feels right. But I think that's great too. Cause I think that makes everybody feel like they can do it yeah. because if you know, you're making these beautiful, beautiful cards with such gorgeous color and it's just basically, you're kind of just pulling things that you yep. have around you in putting it together. I think that's, that's, um, that's almost like less frightening as a crafter than to say, well, I sit down and I look at the color, you know, no. like that there's a long process to it. It's just basically you're going with your gut and your heart yep. and you're creating beautiful work based on that. And I think that's, that's lovely. Exactly. So what do you gravitate towards when you open a kit? Are you more stamps, stencils, dyes? What do you kind of lean towards? Um, well, the first thing, I love dyes and I love stenciling. But I was really surprised, like Altenew has these stencils that coordinate with embossing folders. That's kind of like a new one for me that's really cool. 
Uh, but I think I do gravitate towards die cutting first because I love solid color cardstock. But the ink colors in this kit make me want to blend. And the blending brushes are really good too. So I had fun with that. Those ink blending is always like always down to ink blend, always yeah. happy to ink blend. Yep. So when you get something like this, you know, you're going to teach and you get like that initial PDF, like you see what's in the kit. Yep. Do you start kind of thinking about your projects then, or are you more, you need it in your hands to kind of really feel it and really connect with it? Yeah, I need it in my hands, but I did look, I did look and think what things popped out to me. So I kind of had an idea what I was attracted to, but once you get it in your hand and really you just have to start creating and then you're like, ah, I'm going to try this one and I'll mix with, Oh, and then you're like, Oh, and then, and then you start thinking, Oh, I should do this and I can make a card with this. And, but then you just don't have enough time. No. Cause I'm always thinking now as I look, Oh, I could do this with this card with these products. I could make another, but time. Time is always yeah. that she's a cruel mistress that time because <laughs> you know, it's like, and it's hard. Cause you just, you look at everything and you get an idea and then another one pop and then they keep coming and you're like, okay, exactly. all right, I got too many of, I, I only have an hour. Oh my God. I have this, I have that, you know? And it's, yeah, time is always, I think the cruelest mistress. Cause we have, it's when we have ideas. I mean, you know, of course we have a lot of time when we don't have any ideas and we're stuck there with, no ideas. <laughs> yes. And you know what else is a killer is um, com comparison. Yes. Because even like this is intimidating for us working with these talented designers because I'm like, oh, I'm not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy to make a card amongst these giants. And so that can kill your mojo. That really can kill your mojo. You just got to like get in, clean slate, don't compare, just do your thing. And um, yeah. And that's good because you know, everybody, and I think that's a great, I always say that we each add like a quilt block to this beautiful quilt we have in this community. And it's all very different. And that's what makes this community so beautiful is that we all have different styles. So again, same kit, but there's going to be so many different projects that vary in so many different ways. You wouldn't probably even know it's the same kit that you guys are using because you guys always like push the envelope and come up with these amazing ideas no pressure. Um, but <laughs> I just realized when I said that, that sounds a little, a little pressury, but you guys always do. You guys always knock it out of the park. And it's just like, you look at these beautiful creations. And so it's amazing that all these styles work so beautifully together. Um, it's, it's cohesive, but it's very different at the same time, which is, is very amazing. Yeah. And also when I was creating, I was thinking user friendly, like I don't want to do something that's so hard and intricate and time consuming. I also want to make something that's approachable. That's yep. not going to be intimidating for people. And they're not going to feel like I can't do this or like halfway through. This is too tedious. Uh, you want to make it easy. And is that your cat? That is, <laughs> yes. I'm trying to keep her off. <laughs> trying. <laughs> What's her name? Her name is Emery. So Emery. She's, anytime there's a camera on. Oh, look at her. Yeah, she's here. She's a camera baby. She loves her alt new. She's an alt new girl. So that's so cute. We have a cat. Well, it's not really ours. It's my oldest son. And he, he lives in Germany. He, he's playing hockey over there. And he adopted a cat from a shelter. And then he, when he came home for the summer to visit, he brought the cat. And then he was going to take the cat back to Germany. But the cat ran outside and missed the flight. Oh, so now we have the cat and the cat and the dog are just, it's a circus. But um, that cat is getting like what, like always wanting, somehow it knows when I'm videoing and it'll hop up on the, and I'm like, how do you know? How do you know you little? They do. They just do. It's like, yeah, you can't stop it. It's you know, so title. <laughs> We have Sonia, who's never taken an alt new class. Oh, wow, Sonia, we would love to have you join us. Um, again, you get 12 hours. The recordings are yours forever. So I think that's something that's different with us as well. You get to keep them forever. They don't go away. It's not a time limit. In 20 years, you could go back and watch Laura's class and remake the cards if you wanted to. That's totally, um, you know, that's your option because um, you have them forever. So the PDFs stay there forever. The video recordings stay there forever. 
Um, and then the Facebook group, um, I don't know if that will be there in 20 years, but it's there for a long time. So I don't know that uh, that limit on that yet. But so I hope you'll take a class with us. And we do have a discount code special um, for Laura's interview today. So um, Akisha, if you could pop that up again, that would be fabulous. So everybody can see that. And somebody had asked too, what was in the kit? We now have pictures on our website. Website. So if you go to Secret Garden on Altenew, um, you can look and see everything that's in the kit. So there's no question, you know, I, I don't know what I'm buying. You see exactly what you're buying. Um, and you also get to see the instructors that you're going to share um, those amazing products with. So that's very excited. Um, yeah. And uh, we had I said, Laura, you are very worthy. I think this is when you were saying you're not worthy. Um, you are an inspiration for us and give us the courage to try to make the design. And that's, that is because you make even some of your designs that when you look at the card, you're like, yeah, I can't do that. Like you watch the video and you're like, okay, this is so simple. Like yeah. it, the way you break it down and the way you relate is just amazing. So I think well, that's you. part of it as well. How does this class work? Is it like all on the Facebook group? Like, will the classes be there or it's on YouTube? It'll be in Altenew Academy. So the classes oh. will be in Altenew Academy. Yep. But we do have the Facebook group as well. Lots of fun in there because we have unboxings and demos of um, your products. There's also an event that helps you prepare. So mm -hmm. if there's homework from the instructors, um, we have an amazing um, person that goes through and walks you through the homework step by step. So goes through each class. Okay, we got to cut this card stock, have this ready and get you organized. And um, that just makes the day so much more relaxing. Um, speaking as somebody who's done these, it's nice to have your stuff organized and ready to go for each of the classes. So you're not trying to cut, you know, two card bases while the class is going on. That's always a good thing too. Speaking now, what, of organization, you yes. know what I have, my family, they've just about stolen the Alta New Clear like pouch bags. Yeah. I had like three of those and I was like, dang, these are nice. And then my husband's like, can I have one? And then my daughter's, can I have one? I'm like, I got to order more. Those are really good bags. Those would be good for organizing for this class. Absolutely. And I, I love the zipper. I love the yes. zip. I think they're zip and seal. And then we have the... um. We have the ones with the slider. I love the ones. Slider, that have the yes. Yeah, the zipper ones. Oh my gosh, I love those. I cram so much in there. Yeah. Yes, there's a coupon code. I believe it's Laura Garden. Um, Keisha was going to pop that back back in there in the chat for you guys so that you can get a deal because at Altenu, we love to give out deals. Oh, Nancy, she said, I'm just joining. Did I miss anything? The good news is it's recorded. So we've been having a little, a little chat here. So, uh, you know, if you want to go back and watch it, you please feel free to. So what, what are you doing right now? Are you ink blending? Are you watercoloring? Are you, what, what like techniques are you like living for at the moment? Oh, I just, I love it all. Hey, I had a question about the, the class. So those, those yes. ink colors, yes. are those like exclusive to the class or can you buy those in the shop or how are those? So right now, one of the colors, um, I believe Rotolite is the one color that's, or, and Lemonade Stand. So Lemonade Stand is currently available in the store as a fresh dye ink. Okay. Rotolite is making its introduction into the Fresh Dye Ink family in this set. And okay. the other colors are not available in this, in this shop. So, so they're exclusive to the class. They're exclusive to the class. Okay. Yes. Could they be released in the future? Maybe. Don't know. Okay. So that's one of those things you don't, you don't know. So, um, but as of right now, they're exclusive to this class. So. Wow. That's yeah. an interesting little tidbit. Yes, absolutely. Cause those inks are, I saw those I'm, I'm an ink blender. Like I, I love it all. Like you said, I love the markers. I love the, I love it all watercolor, but ink blending just steals my heart every single time. Well, and these little things. Yeah. I never, it's like, you didn't know you need it. And then when I started using, I'm like, how did I live without that? I don't even know how I've been going this long without these. They're so great for the small spaces and to really yeah. add extra detail into places. And with the um, stone, the the wall, um, uh, that that's going to be amazing to yeah. add extra detail in there. And I mean, I can see doing so much with that combo because you could like 
artist marker, watercolor would be gorgeous on that embossing folder. Uh, so many options of things to do, which is very, very exciting. Yes. So what else is going on as far as crafting? Are you are you trying anything new or are you the old standbys? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm living day to day, man. <laughs> but this new embossing folder with the stencil with the die, that's new to me. I'm like, I don't know why I'm dragging my heels with embossing folders, but I'm slowly like getting on the, I'm slowly getting on it. And I could see like, there's a lot of potential with texture with that. But at first I was really resistant. I'm like embossing folders, but now I'm like, okay, now you put a stencil with it, a coordinating yeah. stencil and a coordinating die. It's pretty cool. And then the layering of it as well is, yeah. so it makes it like the flowers, it makes it look realistic. It makes oh, yeah. it, it gives it that, as you lift that last stencil, you need that, oh, music yeah. because it's just so realistic now were you back because embossing folders have been around a long time i've yeah. i've been like 30 years doing this and embossing folders were back earlier yeah. in my time did you use embossing folders back then not really i mean i knew of them maybe i maybe i had one like a swiss dot yes but other than that no i just i don't know it just didn't feel like I was doing anything. I like to get my hands. I like to do, I don't know. It's kind of like using pattern paper. I'm, yep. I like to use it, but a lot of times I just feel like I'm not being that creative with pattern paper. You, you know what I mean? I'd rather ink blend or stamp or make my own thing, yep. but, um, boy, it's really, it's really come a long way in bossing folders. And they have, especially, I think the coordinating stencils, I, for me at least were like the game changer. Yes. Cause like, Yes, they're pretty. That 3D embossing folders are gorgeous. Like you emboss them, you know, you put a, your floral arrangement, really pretty. You can have geometrics, lots of different patterns, which is fun. But then you add in, I mean, there are some we have in the store as well that are patterns that like we have cubes that you can stencil and all kinds of fun things. But I love like scenery ones, especially we had the waterfall one last, our last retreat which is gorgeous. And we're getting more of them that we have the majestic mountain, um, which was from the, um, come, I always say it backward, uh, cozy comfort. I think that's correct. I, it, I always want to say comfy, cozy, not cozy comfort. <laughs> like it switches. How about uh, hot foiling? Do you do much of that? Um, I have a love hate relationship. I have days. I really have days where I will, like just hook it up and like, man, I am flying through the foil. I like to do it that way because it is, it's beautiful. I love it, but it's, you get the machine out. Then you got to get the foil out. Then you got to get the plate out. And then you got to so, make a couple mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put the foil on backwards. Then you got to like your pull plate. somebody and then you finally get it right. And then four hours later, you have one foil. <laughs> <laughs> How about the better press? The that's my go-to right now. Is it, it really? Is so my go-to. It is so fast. Yeah. Loving it. Loving it with the plates. Um, I throw my hot foil plates on there too. I know that makes oh, some folks okay. nervous, but I'm living life on the edge um, and I'm loving it. I make Are sense. Are you it. using like all to new inks with this? Are you using yeah. press inks? No, I'm using just the all to new fresh dye inks. Um, really? I've used some of the pigment inks. The permanent gray was beautiful with some sentiments yesterday. Are you using special cardstock? No, just the hammer mill. Just really? Hammer mill. Yep. And it works beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Interesting. So what are you are, for machines? What are you hot foiling? What are you yeah. better pressing? Well, I have the spellbinders, but like about a couple months ago, I bought the Anna Griffin and press die cutting machine, oh. which I, I said, I didn't need, I didn't need, I don't need another machine. I don't need it. I don't need it. Finally, I broke down and I don't know why I waited. Yep. I'm with you. I just it's got it. I've had it for a week. Best decision I've ever made. In I my know, life. right? Yes. Yes. I love it. Thank you, Jennifer McGuire. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Your video helped me. I was like, oh. I know. So I, yeah, I, so I love, I have my, my, my spellbinders platinum that I love and yes. I use all the time, but there are times when there's so much die cutting, like your arm yes. is just like done. You're like, I need electric. It's got to go electric. Here. Now you can't do the better press with that, right? I don't think so. I, Have you ever no. done embossing with it? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. yeah with the embossing folder? Yes. Yep. Okay. The 3D embossing folder. So, yep. So what works for me is I use the magnet. Yeah. The embossing folder with the paper and then the plate. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good to know. So do you, are you more, do you more reach for like a manual die cut machine or are you more of an electronic? Well, I've like for many years, I had the big shot. Yeah. Big shot did that for years. Then somewhere down the line, I bought the Gemini and that sucker was so loud and my plates really warped. And I was just really frustrated with that thing for a long time. Then I went to the Spellbinders Platinum, had that for years, did that. And I still have that one. Yeah. And then I just got the Anna Griffin and that's, that, that's a Cadillac. Yes. yes it's it is. Cadillac. But I keep the Spellbinders handy for hot foiling and stuff like that. But yeah, I like the, but and I, now I've heard some people say they've got the mini impress and I'm like, oh, you know what else I have handy is my little all to new, the little mini. The mini blossom. That's yeah, handy I, for literally, stuff. it's at my knee. Here yeah. he is. Do you use that a lot? <laughs> It's right. It's right. Literally at my knee. <laughs> it's wonderful. And we have the new gradient cardstock sets, which fit perfectly on there. Yeah. So um, we have them in the individual colors, which is awesome. So you can replenish some of your colors. So that's very, very cool. So I love those gradient cardstocks. Yes, those yeah. and they make die cutting. So like if you're just like, I mean, I love I love a white cardstock. I love to blend. But some days you're like, I got 20 minutes. We got to get this done. Those card stocks are yes. fabulous because it's so fast. It's just, you know, line it up through the mini and you're done. And that's right. a great, that mini, the plates never warp. It is fantastic. And it I've is. had, I think the same plate set for like two years, three years. Like they you know, I just last a, a reel by JC the other day and he was making a card with all the new and he had the stamp wheel. But he had a black grid mat in his stamp wheel. And I was like, wait a second. I haven't seen that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> ah, okay. I was like, am I like living under a rock? I have not seen that. No, it's a, it was a sneak peek. Good pickup. It was a sneak peek of something coming. Very exciting. So that will be coming later this month on the 10th. So that's very exciting. That was cool. Yes. Did it, you see that reel? He he colored that blue with I'm like, blue. what are you a magician? I, and it, it's, it did look like magic. I mean, just be, just between the editing, like it just like magically you flip one screen and it's magically colored. It was like that's wow, amazing. He just, He's incredible. But I love to. So I love this. So you guys are seeing that even though the amazing Laura Bassett is teaching at this event, she has her heroes too. She has her folks that she idolizes. And so as, as many of us do with these names that are in this retreat, we're like, oh my God, it's Laura Bassett. Oh my God, it's JC Gaspar. Oh my God, Jennifer Moore. Yeah. So we all go and all of these names, we all do that. And so it's good to for you guys to see as well. Uh, Laura's doing it too. You know, everybody here is just excited and it's such a unique lineup and it's so fun. And, you know, like you said, we're going to have so many different techniques, designs, tips. And that's, I mean, not only do you get the, you get the value when you buy the kit because you get the products, but on top of that, you get the recordings, the PDFs, the Facebook group, you get to ask questions and interact with these six amazing instructors. And you also get these tips and tricks that kind of um, come about while they're crafting. Because, you know, when Laura's writing her instructions for her card, she's not thinking, oh, let me put this tip or trick in here. But when you're making it live, you're like, oh, this is something I do to make this step easier. So I think that's the great thing too, is we learn kind of some secret tips and tricks that maybe wouldn't have come out um, in like a YouTube video or something. Speaking of crafting, I saw on the Altenew YouTube channel, um, is JC and Jennifer doing a crafting vid? Like, are they, what are they doing? Yes. So we're having, so tomorrow we have Dawn. I'm so excited um, to have Dawn tomorrow. And then on Thursday at 5 p.m., we have Jennifer and JC. And uh, JC is going to teach Jennifer a card. Really? Um, yes. Yeah. So using some old alt new products and some new from the kit products. Oh, mixing so, it up. Mixing it up. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, just to show, you know, you guys, these 
these kits go on. Like they're amazing for the event. They're amazing to do all the projects that everybody has, but they also become versatile and, you know, something that you go to in your craft room. I know like the sentiment sets um, from the last one, like are right near me all the time. <laughs> There's so many versatile things in there. Um, so we just wanted to show you how great um, things can kind of combine and have a little fun, you know, with uh, throw some crafting in there. Let's why not? You know, so Dawn's amazing. Yeah, I mean, every instructor like I could gush for hours about every single <laughs> instructor. Is in she event. still having her own company? Does she still have W plus nine? I'm not sure because like I've known her for years and I knew she, she always had this company, but then every once in a while when I'd see her craft, I'm like, you are so incredibly talented, but she wasn't really showing it because she was more running the company and more designing product for her company. But now that she's doing more design work and I'm like, I think this, she's so talented. It's good to see. It's nice to see out in front. You know, it's nice to see it when they're there and they're creating with you. So I think that's very exciting as well to have Dawn, like you said, creating with us. Yeah. Um, you know, it's wonderful. We need the products. Like, let's not lie. Let's not, let's not put any shade on that. We need the amazing folks that create these gorgeous products. However, it's also nice to see them when they come with the products or with other products and they design and you get to see their process as well. Cause I think folks that design stamp sets have a very unique process. I mean, you're have a graphic design background, so that kind of figures in and you have a very, very neat design aesthetic. And I think, like you said, it kind of crosses over where it's not even like a thought anymore. It's just kind of second nature for you, but it's, it's neat to see that come through um when people are crafting i really love to see that i would love to know more about these products and who designed them and all that what's behind it is it tasneem and jen uh we have more designers than that i can't no. remember who designed everything um in the kit but um yep we definitely have jen and tasneem in there we may have a mary M in there i'm not sure okay. um and then i think we had another designer in there i'm trying to remember who designed all the products but it's it's wonderful because our designers come together to make this one beautiful kit and it's it's so cohesive but so many different hands and visions went into it. And I love how it ends up coming together in this beautiful bow. You know, it all, it all works so perfectly together. Um, so it's wonderful. Oh, did I put you after? Um, so what do you say to somebody that says, well, I can just, I, I love all these people, but I can just watch YouTube videos. What's the difference between a YouTube video and coming to a retreat? Oh, well, you're all working with the product together. It's kind of like it's community. Also like the, the banter and the talking and the questions and the answering and the live aspect of it with the product that you're all sharing. I mean, a lot of times I watch YouTube videos of Jennifer, but I don't have that product. So a lot of times I'll go buy it, but oh, yes. <laughs> a lot of times I watch videos, I don't have that product. So I'm not quite as interested, but when you have the product and you're watching someone create with that product, it's pretty exciting to be able to do it along with, and then just that whole live aspect of, you feel like you're crafting with them and cracking jokes and having and fun. It's neat. And it's neat too, because sometimes you guys give like extra ideas. You're like, well, I did the card this way, but I also thought of X, Y, Z. Yeah. And you could create kind of more cards. And so it's, I mean, the tips, the tricks, the additional inspiration that you get is just absolutely priceless when you come. Um, so it's May 4th. If you have to work that day, they're all recorded. You get everything recorded. You get access to all the PDFs, all the recordings, everything like that. Again, we have lots of giveaways during the day. And it is, it's a very unique um, camaraderie um, during the day. And it's just, it's a very, it's a very cool vibe. Like everyone has a different vibe, every retreat, but they're all just such cool vibes and such a bonding and sharing of just our passion for crafting, which is amazing. So we are so thankful for you joining us today. Thank you, Laura, for making time to come chat a little bit about the upcoming retreat. We're so excited. Do you want to show anything? Is there anything you'd like to sneak peek or maybe your favorite ink or your favorite embossing folder or something? That Where is that ink that I love? Oh, let me grab it. No worries. No worries at all. This one here. I'm telling you, this 
know if you could see it. Can you yes, see it? Yes, perfect. Like you might not think much of that, but I'll tell you what, it it's deceiving. It seems magic. I'm anyway. excited to put it with uh, a couple ink families, like yes. uh, the um, the wood warbler. I want to throw it over in there and see how that hangs out. And it's it'll be a lot of a lot of fun to uh, put that with a bunch of inks and test out uh, how it all shakes out. One of my projects I'm doing. Um, like I'm just nah, 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 nah. Uh, it has a like a coordinating envelope. Oh, love that! We're doing that. Love that, and, and we just came out with some envelopes. So yeah, it's kind of fun to put a little extra love into the envelope. It is, and it's you know because we we get so many of the bills and the junk mail, and to see like a beautifully designed envelope, and you're just like, okay pause for the cause. This is awesome. Like, you know, you get, it gets you in the, in the zone to open yes. the card and be like in card receiving mode. You know, it's <laughs> when you have that envelope, like pulling you in. So it's very exciting. I love that. I don't do it often. So I'm yeah. so glad that something, there you go, guys, we get to design envelopes too. So gotta, are they going to sh uh, share sneaks of these projects on the Facebook in the Facebook, yeah. Okay, so you got to yeah. be there to check it out. You got to be there yeah. to check it out. So there will be sneak peeks um, coming in the Facebook group. And then I can't believe it's a month away. And yeah. it will probably feel like tomorrow because it will go so fast. Um, so over time, the PDFs will come out. Supply lists will come out. Um, events will happen. I think it's the 25th we're doing the unboxing. And then we'll have demo days where we basically just go through how to layer together. Um, like um, Laura was talking about the embossing folder with the stencil. I'll show you how to layer it together. So in class, the no question, you know exactly how to layer it together or layer the flowers together um, just so it will move seamlessly for you. Because it's, you know, if you've never tried a recipe before, you don't want to make it the night your boss is coming for dinner. That's kind of the theory is so we practice a little bit before the boss comes for dinner, so to speak. So, And yes, we do. We have so many people in the Facebook group already. People are getting excited, you know, and once packages start shipping, people will be super excited and people share. Um, when are do you have to start going out? Um, I'm not sure on the exact date, but it's, it's going to be a uh, soon. So okay. I'm not paused on the exact date, but are you team peak or team wait oh, on I'm packages? I, I have no patience. <laughs> See, I'm ripping off the tape with my teeth as I walk around from the mailbox. Like I, I don't even make it to the door. Like I'm yeah. like ripping that box. Like I'm ready to go. I need to know. I yeah. need, like you said, I need to touch those supplies. Like yeah. I even, my poor mom, she was here and I got some new stamps and I was like, ah, and she goes, what are you doing? And I said, oh, smell this, smell this. So she smells them and she goes, is that supposed to smell good? And I'm like, that smells amazing. What do you mean? Yes, yes, that smells amazing. So I'm training her to love the smell of stamps. So, <laughs> so she doesn't make any cards? No, but I'm going to start her on stenciling. Um, oh. I I really think that's a good entry level um, for folks into if you're, you know, not a crafter. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the great thing about a lot of what's in this kit is that if you are a newer crafter, we have the keyhole design on the flowers, lines them up effortlessly. The layered stencils line up effortlessly. So it's not like you have a lot of stuff with no direction. It's There's so many um, steps that help you line it up. So this is a great kit for beginners, for advanced. And yeah, we can't wait to have you guys join us. And you guys are all amazing too, seeing the comments in there. Uh, we're so excited when you guys join us for these interviews. You make them so much more fun. Thank you to Keisha behind the badge for answering the questions and getting the link out and for getting um, Laura's code out there. Yes, Sonia, keyhole is the secret to everything. <laughs> like that was, That's genius. That was like, I mind blown the first time I saw that. I was that mind blown. Who came up with that idea? <laughs> who came up with that idea? That is genius. I, I don't know who it was, but they, yes, it's like a crafty, you need the crafty, like the SAG award, but the crafty award for that, yeah. because that's. That was a game game changer. Oh, I noticed you have uh, your ink storage behind you. Are those those rotating carousels? Yes. And I got one of those for Christmas. It's fantastic because you see a rainbow, you spin. And I, I found I'm doing more color combinations that I maybe wouldn't have done. 
because I can just spin through and I'm like, oh, what about this color? What about that color? So they really have helped my creative process, shockingly. An you organization have, like, are they labeled on the outside that you can see what you're grabbing? I do. Yes, they have labels. So um, Altenew has labels for the ink pads. Oh, I need to get, I got to get some of those. Oh yeah, you got to get these. So yeah, so you can see right there on my ink pad, what it is on the side, on the top and on the bottom. No more of the days that you're like, what is that? Yeah. So, and it has the color, you know, so yeah, it's just, I find it very inspiring to have the labels and just to be able to spin it. And they don't come labeled though, right? You got to buy no. a sheet of stickers and put them on. Exactly. Yep. Okay. And we have them for the ovals. We have them for the minis. We have them for the rounds. We have them for the markers. We have them for the blending tools. If there's, if there's something, we have a label for it. <laughs> so do you keep a blending brush for every color? I do. I do. Um, and I, well, I always say it's, it's my job. This yeah. is what I do. So it's easier. Um, I do have one that I grab quickly that has like 12 and it just has one of each color. So I do have those that I'll grab quickly. Um, but, and then um, some brushes, I have like a light teal and a dark teal and that's it. Okay. Um, so different ones that I, uh, I, I, I do, but the minis, I, I do have one for each. So you, you have these in all the colors yes i do how do you store them um well i was inspired by jc and i told jc thank you for giving me this idea and now he stores his differently um i just keep them in the yeah. shell okay and then here we go here's one with the name on top so if oh. you get your blending tools i just put the name on top and then i have my four colors and they're of course um, because Altenew is awesome. I have all my labels for all oh my, my gosh. Colors. So I'm, I'm labeled to the hilt. If there's something I have, it's labeled. That is amazing. I, and then I, I just get my have life them in little buckets. So I just oh. pull and they're alphabetical. So I just pull what I need when I need it. And it goes pretty fast. And these are great. So you guys, during the retreat, I'll give you a little tip here. When I use these blending tools, I keep them like they're ready to to Pop fire <laughs> like they're ready to go because don't push them down just set them there uh -huh. and you can pull them up so easily so when you're blending with these amazing instructors just set them down in your little clamshell and you pick them up so easy it keeps them from rolling away from you which is good but yeah so that is yeah. so cool the little labels on the bottom of the brush yeah wow i think laura's gonna have an order today i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh gosh, Leslie, congratulations. So excited. She just registered. Yay. Congratulations. So excited. We're so excited that you guys are all joining us. We can't wait to have you join the Facebook group, get in and have a play with us in there and just get build the excitement. And uh, it just, it adds something to the retreat being in the Facebook group as well. So but thank you again um, all for joining us. Thank you, Keisha, again, behind the badge. Awesome as always. And Laura, it's always awesome to catch up with you and get ready for this amazing event. Um, it was so great. I'm so happy to have you join us today. As always, so much fun. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Looking forward to May. Did you say May 4th? Yeah. May 4th. Yep. Yep. Very exciting. It, my son graduates college the day before, so yay. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> going to be busy for you. Thank goodness he's graduating on a Friday, not on a Saturday, because I would have had to say, I love you dearly, my son. But, but Did you say high school or college? Uh, it's his, actually, it's his second. Um, he's already graduated from law school, so he has his Juris Doctorate. Uh, but he is getting his MBA, so wow. um, so he's graduating with his MBA in May. So very, and then two weeks later, he gets married. So it's, it's uh, we have so much coming up in May, which wow, is exciting. Wow, exciting. So, yes, it'll be lots and lots of fun. But, and then this event, I mean, this event makes my month because it's just so exciting to have and gather everybody together. It's it's like going, I always think of like cheers, like you see all your old friends and you get together and it's just, it's just so much fun. So thank you everyone. And yes, don't forget to lo lose. Don't forget to use Laura's code. <laughs>
I'm now combining words here. Actually, that was a word, but I didn't want to say that one. Don't forget to use Laura's code. And that is Garden Laura to save some money. We love to be able to share um, and give discounts out. And especially for joining us today, we're very excited. So thank you again, everyone. And we will see you all tomorrow at three to have a chat with Don. Hopefully, Laura, you can join in and say hello to Don as well. Um, and then on Thursday at 5 p.m., we will be back with uh, Jennifer and JC and there will be a little crafting going on. So we're very excited to have you join us for that as well. So thank you everyone. We'll see you all soon.